happened to this old man really bad. And here we see the first appearance of Commander Damien. says uh, he's a high-ranking officer and we're gonna lose but his real only threat is war Mon. and hopefully I'm not gonna have that big of a problem fighting him but we'll see Alright, so. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna check to see if I have any HP drives. Whoops, I do. And I'll go. No. So hopefully I really don't need my grandma to attack. And thankfully we did take out War Mazamon. And I don't know if anyone else knows that, but I kind of find that weird that he has future tattooed on his forehead.
So hopefully this will be the last turn of this fight. If not, man, I'd be kind of pissed. Just saying. Just saying. That this battle is over. <laughs> now I would probably say this is our so man of all three because two teamers at the end of the domain. That and the this is the first introduction of ultimates that you had to fight against. And out of all the Blood Knights, you do see Commander Damien the most. And just throwing it out there, I've me previously mentioned about the leader of Crimson. And so that's the game, and you only actually find him twice, as compared to Commander Damien, which will fight several times. I would honestly say probably about five or six times throughout the whole game. <laughs> and I would probably say you find him about three times before you actually fight Crimson for the first time. And after that, we go back to our leader to report in. And now this is one part I seriously hate is the whole uh, code red status. Because it just seriously takes a little time and it just builds up and it gets very annoying. And we come in to report our mission completion. And we talk about the command order for the archive ship. And our leader pretty much explains that it is a ship that our forefathers used to escape foul island which you might if you have played uh, played Digimon World 1 you will know of foul island and pretty much the commander in chief at foul island and then after that our leader gives us orders to find Professor Pete Piotti or something like that. <laughs> and then Bertron Paramount tells us that they have orders to find the enemy's frontline domain. And Joy Joy comes in and tells Bertrand to buy our stuff and blah blah blah. And he pretty much makes uh, rookie Lucky Louis, Louis to go get his stuff.
so annoying. So I had to do it when you go into the tamer thing, and then you had to do it on your way out. And I'll be right back. Well, actually, guys, I will be counting off right here because I'll be covering how to do the whole thing. Well, find Professor Pity thing and doing all his mission parts and separate videos. So I will see you guys next time.